All right. It we're looks like we're live on Facebook. Uh, and <laughs> Three, two, one. Here we go. We didn't. Yeah, we didn't check the. Uh, check the what? Music. Oh, it's all right. We don't need to check the music. I'm sure it's, <laughs> it'll be fine. It will be fine. I just want to make sure that uh, I got that channel unmuted and all that stuff. Hey, we're live. Yeah, we're live. <laughs> People, we're live, mm-hmm. and we're actually going to physically be recording live here in just uno momento, por favors. I believe I've got this ready. Por favors is that the plural? Yes, the, right. the peoples of the peoples. Um, cool. Uh, now that we're live, uh, I'm ready for cue music. All right. So go ahead and uh, shoot it down. Three, two, one. This is Drink Talk, where we try to solve the world's problems one drink at a time. This week, we'll be having clown shoes uh-huh. beer. You know what we're going to do? Oh. We're going to just start right over okay. because uh, apparently I forgot to switch it to the microphones that we're actually using oh. instead of the microphones that are... Is that why I sounded? Act- well, no. It, the people of Facebook can totally hear us, okay. but the program that I recorded was using the built-in audio, and I oh. look over and I'm all like, wow, it's uh, not really doing anything for music right we're now. We're so. <laughs> getting some technical difficulties tonight. That's all right. Hey, at least the music worked right away, so that's mm-hmm. that's pretty awesome. We have had that uh, before. I went back and watched that uh, Time Off episode, yep. and we had to like restart like five times because the Siri thing kept popping up. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's <laughs> right. I totally forgot about that. All right. So uh, I am got you back up. Yep. Uh, three, two, one. This is Drink Talk, where we try to solve the world's problems, one drink at a time. This week, we'll be having Clown Shoes Beer and discussing social media. We are your hosts, Brian and Britt. All right. Second time's a charm? Yeah, second time's a charm. That's right. Second time is the charm. Exactly. A little uh, technical difficulties this morning, or this evening, uh, but we'll... Well, you know what it is. It's getting back to the new studio, uh, the old studio, the new way, I guess. Uh, Before uh, the last episode, when we did uh, um, suicide prevention, Mm -hmm. I was on the other side. Oh, right. So I had to move the soundboard over there and move all the controls over there and all that stuff. Now I went back to this. It seems we have some glitches every now and again when we do that. Hey, I think I I, I think it took us like... I wired it all back up right. (laughs) I think think it took us, what, like three weeks to get back to normal from when we went on the road on that one time? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, and we also had a problem with, uh, I don't know, not internet connection, but uh, just the way it was streaming. The video feed. The video feed. The audio audio in the video feed specifically. But now we've ironed everything out. We are good. We are golden. Uh, My music's going, so. Okay, cool. And, um, yeah. So, uh, what are we going to be starting with, Britt, for the uh, the drinks? We're going to, ooh, the clown shoes. The okay. clown shoe bear. And that was part of my uh, technical difficulties earlier. I had made a bunch of notes on it. Uh, so, I'm going to kind of go from memory yeah. <laughs> on what we're having here. So, uh, clown shoes, based out of Milwaukee, they just started distributing here in Omaha about three weeks ago. So, like October 1st ish. Uh, so very new beer and very, very new popular beer. beer. Oh man, there's it's it's all over. The reason I found out about this, there's a couple groups on Facebook that I'm um, part of, like the Nebraska Brew Crew, and everybody was talking about this. So I said I got to find some, but I didn't know where to find it. So I ended up picking this up at Spirit World, uh, which is one of our uh, kind of go tos when finding unique things, and. Um, I haven't had it yet. We haven't tried it yet, so we're gonna uh, we're gonna delve into it. But yeah. uh, again, probably need some cups, huh? Yep. Yeah. So I like the uh, the owner's name. The owner and brewer's name is uh, Greg Beerman, um, which I mean, as a brewer with the last name Beerman, Beerman. I mean, <laughs> Beerman me Beerman. <laughs> what, what else are you gonna do in life, right? Right. So uh, this one that we are drinking on first is the, the stranger. The stranger. It's and you were wheat. saying that you liked his last name. What I like about this is the artwork. Oh, on the, the artwork. Cans. Yes, the artwork is amazing on these cans. If you go to their website, which is uh, just uh, clownshoesbeer dot com, uh, they have all the beers, both uh, past, present, and uh, special release, and you can see the artwork. The actual when it lists the beers. 
the artwork is right there. Oh, this is amazing artwork. This looks like a bunch of vines and flowers. And then there's this astronaut walking with, uh, I would call it like this uh, rock, rock creature e- rock creature mm-hmm. thing uh, that's got some kind of puppy dog coming out of its side, uh, which I didn't ever notice the first time. Mm-hmm. Uh, but th- this beer is called The Stranger, you know, and it's it's kind of cool that he's got a little stranger, you know, yeah. walking with him. <laughs> yeah, it's a, uh, it's a wheat India Pale Ale and a wheat IPA, and it is 7.77% ABV, oh, so a little higher on the scale. Not a double, uh, just a regular uh, wheat IPA, but uh, just, higher alcohol just content. Wait. <laughs> it just wait. Yeah, yeah, the other one's going to be a double. So uh, to that note, cheers. Clinky, clinky. It's a bit hazy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's... um. What does that remind me of? There's a beer that this reminds me of. Oh, you know what it is? It's the... Uh, what am I thinking, thinking on it? I it, we, We've drank it on the show before, and I can't... It's usually in Bombers, isn't oh, it? Oh, right here. Delirium. Yeah. D- yep. You're right. It does. It, it reminds you of Delirium Nocturnum. Yeah, totally. Mm-hmm. But that was that. This is a Belgium ale. Well, that's where, whereas this is a. It's a uh, wheat ale, but a lot American. A lot of the people um, that had reviews on it said it drinks like a Belgian ale. So, well, there you go. It would, like I said, it yep. tastes like Delirium. Right. Yeah. So if you're a fan of Belgian ales, if you're a fan of Delirium, I would uh, highly recommend this. It is uh, definitely hoppy in flavor, a little citrusy, yeah. uh, malty. I'm getting the maltiness in there. And uh, again, very hazy. Can't see through it. It's not really clear. It's a little bit. Uh, delirium is a little smoother, I would say, compared to this. It's got a little more sharper of a note. Mm-hmm. Probably, probably because of the the citra that's in it. Probably. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it's got citra hops in it, but uh, I don't um, know specifically. Yeah, I'm not a. I'm, yeah. I'm a stranger to this. It beer. may have been in oh. my notes. <laughs> hey, it may have been in my notes, but I don't have my notes right now. Um, the. Uh, the reason I chose this, again, was uh, the group on Facebook, which tonight's talk is on uh, social media. So I thought that was a really nice tie-in. Thank you, Britt. There is a, that, I thought that was a really nice tie-in that I found this. I wouldn't have known about this beer had it not been for social media. So that kind of leads us into the talk a little bit about what we're going to be doing, unless you had a couple other things to say. No, I mean, uh, you got this beer because you saw it on social Social media, media. which is uh, would be a good thing about social media. Right. So um, what we're going to talk about, we're going to get into the history a little bit here. Britt's got that. Yeah. yeah. We're going to talk some pros and cons and um, and then see where we go from there. I I, just like you said, uh, it's kind of funny how much social media influences you to go out and do things, Mm -hmm. uh, buy things, uh, you know, uh, most things you would not try or buy or get. Um, but you see a friend of yours do that and you're like, Oh, you know, if they did that, that, you know, I might be able to do that because that that seems pretty cool. And like you said, the Nebraska Brew page, you know, I'm on that a lot. Nebraska Brew Crew. Yeah, the Nebraska Brew Crew. And there's also another one, uh, Nebraska Homebrewers or something like that. I don't know. Um, those both those pages shout, you know, what's cool, what's hot, mm-hmm. what's out there. You better get it, or you're gonna miss out. Yeah, kind of thing. Uh, and so I, let's just say that's a good aspect of social media mm-hmm. um, is uh, just the word of not word of mouth, but word of information that people put oh, out yeah, there. Get the information out there. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, I will say I did want to uh, kind of go back to the beer a little bit, just so you're aware. Uh, this is a new beer here in Nebraska, and if you can find, I don't know in other states, but here in Omaha, a four-pack of the tall cans, uh, the wheat IPA was $13, yes. and the double IPA is $14. Yes. So it's but not, Todd the Axeman hmm. is $15, $16. Well, I, you know, I, for I, have, I have seen it for $10 for a four-pack. Yes, so it depends, it depends on where you buy it. But did you check the date on it? Uh, no, but it was still good. I'm sure. <laughs> it's <was> still delicious. <laughs> right, so. I'm sure. <laughs> so um, that being said, Britt, you had you had a little bit of the history on social media. Why don't we start there, and then we'll get into some uh, stats and pros and cons and all that. Well, um, so to start off, um, when people think of social media, they think of, let's just shout it out, Facebook, Instagram, uh, Snapchat. Twitter, Snapchat. Okay, that is social media, but most people are like, oh, yeah, social media started in the 90s, you know. 
Uh, maybe, maybe even started in the late 80s, you know, American Online or something like that, you know. Uh, yeah. the, the chat boards. <laughs> the yeah. chat boards. Uh, but it actually really started way before that because social media is such a uh, a broad spectrum of, of the way you would say things. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, wouldn't social media be, um, let's just say, mailing a letter to someone? The, because or the, how you're about? socially talking through some type of media source, which is the letter carrier, mm-hmm. uh, but you were communicating via letter. Uh, so the first letters yeah. that were given out were uh, 550 BC. The first handwritten letter was given out and mailed to someone, and they received it and read it, and that was a social yeah. transaction. That was a social transaction. Right, and you can get you could get news that way, you know, hey, what's happening on my end of the country right. or, or in my a world? A way of yeah. communicating exactly. would be social media. Yeah. There was also like the uh, knitting clubs, you know. The, <laughs> the, they all get together the, and bigger. Exactly. <laughs> that's, a, that's a social event and it getting together be. and finding out news and gossip about things, which, you know, I mean, who gossips on you social know, media? That would probably right? be before 550. I mean, the, the men, the warriors would come back and tell their stories of going out. So, Oh, yeah, I mean, sitting around the campfire. And, yeah. yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I didn't even think of that. Yeah. But, the, I mean, first documented, I guess, history of a written letter was 550 B.C. Um, and then it, uh, the timeline of social media that uh, the – internet gives me uh, would be uh, 1770 1792 do you have a source on where you got the was it uh, good old wikipedia i'm sure it was wikipedia or or site link to it um but it was uh, 1792 the telegraph oh yeah yeah that was a good way to move information quickly very quickly in those and that year standards and in back then could you imagine being a telegraph person just listening oh, to Morse code, listening to beeps. I'm sure if you did it long, it, like it, it just becomes second. It'd be a second language to you. Yeah, so. true. The decode, the decoder, <laughs> <laughs> right? Um, but yeah, I, I just can't imagine. You know, how did they know that they could send that over some kind of electrical line and make a pulsating effect in order to transfer information from one place to the next? Like well, who, th- who, you know, I think the original ones. Benjamin Franklin. I don't know. Well, he was the man. And I may, because I didn't do any research on telegraphs, but I think the original ones were not the beep 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 beep. Yeah, that was later. The original ones were just like the on off electricity. Oh, and so, bzz, 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 well, not even bzz, bzz, just more of a, a cl- like a clicker, like a. Oh, okay, sure. You know, so I think, and that's if you look at the old school. Wait, wait, wait! Two cans with a string tied to each other. <laughs> yeah, kind of heard the yeah. vibration of this person's right. voice. Yeah, to make sure it was taut. And right, hey, that would be a form of communication. Yeah, yeah, mate. Well, yeah, a little social communication from the neighbor kid to the other neighbor kid, right? <sighs> but then they came out with walkie-talkies, and so you know, that yeah. just mm-hmm. threw that under the board there. But uh, what we're going to be talking about is more of the modern day social media. Well, I don't rule out. Um, I'm not te- te- telephones was would be the next social media thing. It would be transferring, you know, mm-hmm. hey Becky was at the, you know, and telephones they came out in 1890 uh and then literally the next year after that radio communication came out. Mm-hmm. And that that would probably be the start of getting more mass cuz when it comes to like the telegraph and and telephone and all that, you're not going to be getting as much of information as you could with like today's social media obviously has multiple facets. You can, you can catch up with people. You can get the news. You can, whether it's fake or not, who knows, but there's a lot of fake news. Um, you know, they had that radio show, uh, not the day the earth stood still. Um, what yeah. was it? No. The it well, oh, the uh, War of the Worlds. War of the Worlds. They had yeah. that program. Everybody was freaking out. They were mm-hmm. like, oh my gosh, we're getting taken over. Uh, no, this is just a story, you know, but yeah. people didn't know the difference. You, you know, they just thought it was real news. It was on the radio. So people are telling me this is a real thing. And they're like, no, it's a radio show. Yeah, apparently you didn't tune into the beginning. That yeah, this right? was, yeah. I can't imagine <laughs> freaking out. Everybody's in their basement. Where's Becky at? She hasn't been at work for three days. <laughs> Down she built a bunker. I thought, I thought we were under attack. Mm-hmm. <laughs> kind of reminds me of uh, Blast from the Past. Remember that movie? Oh, my gosh. Blast from the <laughs> Past. That is, oh, I love the bartender in that one. Where so they built the like yeah. bar above it, and he came out. Oh you know? yeah, yeah, and the bartender's like, "Oh my gosh, I'm gonna do anything you want." You yeah. know, cherish the throne. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, <laughs> I forgot about that guy. Yeah, um, yeah. So let's let's delve more into the modern day because I mean that we got we got the history down. 
sure. there. But uh, really what we're talking about is the the modern day Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, LinkedIn, right. YouTube, Pinterest. All well, it, it started in the 80s, you know, uh, late, late 80s into the 90s with AOL. We, we did talk about that. Mm-hmm. Um, I totally remember um, making fake accounts. Uh, you know, you would. It you, was easy. Well, you could that. be anybody you wanted mm-hmm. to be. Yep. You know, you could. Are you 18? Uh, sure. sure. <laughs> but you could, you know, Catman 9000, uh, you know, Doggy World 2287439. Like, why did you that have a number prob- that long? <laughs> that, that, and he's probably listening to this. He program could be. And be like, dude, that was totally. Why did you put my handle on there? <laughs> I, uh, it was funny. I was, I was somewhere. I was probably at work. And. I was getting some information from the client or something like that, or, or I was looking up the information from the client through our, our sites that we use for work. And it was, you know, blah, blah, blah at AOL.com. I'm like, somebody's still using AOL. You know, I, <laughs> hey, you know, well, whatever. It was, uh, I had an AOL account for a long time and, uh, I had it ever since I was like the email. I had it since I was eight, like 15 and it just got hacked not that long ago and I had to shut it down. But it, it was one of those where, like, it got weird for a while because, like, you still have an AOL account. But then it was, like, a source of pride. Like, I've got this. I've had this it. thing from, you know, when I was 15, and now I don't have it anymore. So, oh, well. And you got the, rid of that last week? Is that what you said? Not last week. No. Oh. It is probably <laughs> just kidding. five or seven years ago. Wow. That's a lot sooner pretty, than I thought pretty it Pretty recent, <laughs> yeah. It was, it was fairly recent in, in the, Yeah. But so. I remember those little chat groups you were able to get into. Yeah. And it was just weird that you could communicate with people that you've never met before. And you didn't know where mm-hmm. they lived or what they did. Um, they could be telling the truth. They could be telling the truth. And back then, I would like to think that most people were. Uh, nowadays, we a have good, like Let's a, just say a good majority of mm-hmm. them were proper, decent human beings mm-hmm. and Now we have lying. internet trolls. Now we have catfish people. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, yeah. The, and... Like in, by today's standards, it's the new normal. Like if you know some, I have two friends that are not on Facebook, and it's a little weird, but they get by. Right. I mean, it's you know, it's it's okay for them, you know. And one of them is not old. I mean, he's probably uh, I want to say thirty, thirty two. So and doesn't have social media. I yeah. actually have like two, maybe four. Yeah, about four friends that just don't do it. Mm-hmm. And it seems a little weird. Like it's a social, like you weird. don't have anything. You don't do Snapchat. You don't do, and I, he may do Snapchat, but he, yeah, he doesn't yeah. do Facebook. Um, so. I think my buddy might have an Instagram account, but yeah. like a, a staple out there right now. Um, well, I got a statistic um, in 2012. Um, Facebook uh, took a, you know, how many people are on Facebook? Mm-hmm. 800 million people in oh. 2012. Oh, and I have 2016. How, what's that now? One billion, one point oh nine billion people per day. Well, hang on a second here. The world has seven trillion people, right? Seven billion. Seven billion. Mm-hmm. But he's doing. Facebook alone has one point oh nine billion people per day. Well, that doesn't make any sense. In seven days, then they've got everybody in the right. Well, it's the same people. Oh, you're talking active people logging onto Facebook. Yes. I'm, I, I thought you were actually talking about active new users. No, <laughs> like, no. That doesn't make any sense. There's got to be a lot of fake profiles. Yes, out there. One week they have the planet. <laughs> well, and with that said, a lot of fake profiles are yeah. happening. Uh, you know, I see friends uh, asking for my friendship, and I go, I could have swore I'm your friend already. And then I type in their name in the mm-hmm. search bar, and I am their friend, and I'm like, I should probably report this. And I do. I report yeah. it. Uh, I think uh, Paul uh, came across my feed one time. I'm He's like, like, hey, it's been hacked. I'm and like, I, th- I, I texted Paul. I'm like, Paul, um, somebody's hacking your Facebook. You know, I don't know mm-hmm. what's going on here. There's a picture of you up here. And I know you've already accepted my friendship. So uh, so I warned him about that. And he's like, oh, thanks, dude. Yeah. You know, thanks for the heads up. The uh, As far as like social media at large, there are 2.8 billion people using social media as of 2016 and that's from uh, hootsuite.com is where i got those uh, statistics 83 percent of americans have a social media account of some sort 83 percent 83 percent which i actually thought i thought might have been lower would have been i thought, I thought that's been no no i thought that number no, that was number low. is low. yeah yeah, yeah i thought that number i was thought low. it would have been more like 93 yeah because know? of and well, they it, said social media account in general they didn't say facebook they just said social media which 
Well, they ju- they've just made it so easy. If you, I guess you would take the statistic of having a smartphone. Mm-hmm. Take that statistic. Um, you know, because, you know, grandma's not going to have a... Well, maybe grandma... My grandma does have a Facebook page. Uh, no, no, not my grandma. Yeah. But uh, Kaidalyn's grandma has a Facebook page. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, she does. Yeah, yes, she, she does. does. Um, the... Uh, Facebook going back to Facebook a little bit. It, it is the most widely used website in the history of Ooh, the internet. Aren't we Facebook living right now? <laughs> we are Facebook living right now. Yep. So, and that's one of the one of the many features of Facebook. Um, the Facebook, just Facebook by itself, accounts for one out of every six minutes of daily online usage. And if you if you're talking mobile usage, it's one in five minutes hmm. is just for Facebook crazy i know that's how popular facebook is it is it is the number one site on the internet we talked about net neutrality Mm -hmm. you know and i wonder if i'm sure they would get affected by that well the the percentage of users and the content that's you know the way i don't know (laughs) potentially potentially uh they're not like maybe they're the ones pushing for it i don't know right they're they're not well they will probably stream 4k eventually but they're not like a netflix where they're doing high data usage it's more status updates and all that that doesn't take a lot of bandwidth uh the games on facebook don't require a lot of bandwidth facebook live requires something in my head about this 4k stuff um i've got direct tv and um being as though we do this whole live stream thing in my basement, um, and I was doing it over Wi-Fi. I'm not doing it anymore over Wi-Fi now. I've got a hard line to the computer, which is a lot better. Uh, but they say that um, Mike was saying he's like, it doesn't matter if you're on Wi-Fi or if you're hard lined. You know, it's the same signal data coming to your unless your signal's the- weak. But exactly. moving, moving on, <laughs> my box is right over there. Yeah. <laughs> Can't be too weak. Um, but uh, so in in that with that said, I went around the house. I turn off my son's iPads, uh, Wi-Fi. I turned off my wife's. Mm-hmm. I logged out of, or I didn't log out of, but I shut down Apple TV. Um, also, my Direct TV box wirelessly connects to the internet. Shut that down. Uh, so I just went around the house and just turned everything off Wi-Fi wise, just to gain more bandwidth, you know, for my internet, so I could use it mm-hmm. for just streaming a video. Um, and uh, <laughs> it wasn't more than, uh, I'd say, ten days later, I get this thing in the mail from uh, DirecTV. And they're like, do you like to watch TV in 4K? Or do you like to watch movies? There's movies out there. You should you should connect your box to the internet. And I'm like, how do they know I disconnected my box from the internet? <laughs> oh, well, well, it, probably the signal. Probably the yeah, signal. They yeah. were probably watching what I was doing, uh, a.k.a. switch to the digital age. Oh, yeah. And uh, they lost that connection. They're like, oh, we can get him back. Just send him a letter and tell mm-hmm. him all the stuff he's missing out on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, well, and... The, you know, your the receiver is receiving information. That Correct. doesn't mean that it's not sending information of usage or whatever. But it'd be a lot easier if it was connected to the internet. Yeah, I would assume. I'm, I'm I just, would assume. Yeah, I'm just saying. Yeah. Uh, well, let's get into some pros and cons of social media. Let's start with some pros of, of uh, social media. Major pro. Uh, the probably the biggest pro out there is. Uh, communication uh the the barriers have been broken there when they first started social media Mm -hmm. they the whole plan of social media i'm talking about facebook twitter tumblr modern day social modern modern day social media the reason why it was created is because it was so hard to stay in tune with someone that was somewhere where somewhere somewhere Mm -hmm. else uh, that you couldn't communicate with each other. Mm-hmm. Um, I, you know, I got a friend in Texas, and uh, uh, yeah, I could call him every day, but then you know that gets expensive with mm-hmm. uh, long distance phone calling and all that stuff. So they wanted a way of communicating um, and seeing what's going on in each other's lives, um, and you can do that through through Facebook. You just you, well, know, we you have make a post uh, uh, today. Um, I believe Erica made a post, uh, Carly made a post, and uh, all that interaction got out there and you know carly's now got 25 30 likes on this picture yeah. well cool those 30 people saw what happened in my life and they liked it you know hey thumbs well, up <laughs> and we're connected to the our cousins in sweden yeah so and they see and we can i i do a lot of the google translate when i you know wishing them happy birthday and all that so you can yeah you can translate back and forth or you can see and see the translation from them and well i that. remember so it breaks language barriers it too. does it, 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 and this was a time before um, 
so the, the big social media sites were out there. We went to Sweden mm-hmm. uh, back in uh, 2001. One, 2001. In two thousand one. Yeah, in two thousand. Was it two thousand one? It was. Two, yes, I, I vividly remember that because after we got back, September eleventh happened. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Um, with that said, uh, since there was no uh, Facebook out yet, because that mm-hmm. came out in two thousand six, um, Dad created a website. Mm-hmm. You know. Uh, and that's he uploaded photos to the website, yeah, the, the family, and I, the I believe one. the website's probably still up and running it is. to this day. It is, uh, which he's he's updated once before, like three years ago. I don't know. <laughs> he needs to update it again. But it's uh, a way to connect. Yeah. But it was it was our way to show off the photos that we took from Sweden and the Swedish people to actually see it. He created his and, own social media page. <laughs> well, and for me because I was in the military at that point, and so it was a way for me to connect to you guys without having to do email. Yeah, I could just hop it's on the crazy website. Crazy that he created his own web page. It's mm-hmm. like. We should have been like, Dad. Why don't we keep? Why don't we go further with this? You know, mm-hmm. why don't we create Facebook at it's that a, time? It's a pretty neat little thing, yeah. And that kind of gets into the socializing, the the, the socializing aspect of uh, social media. I mean, it's in the name, social. But that could become dangerous. Yes, it can. But that's it's still a pro. Also, it is a pro. Yep, that you, you're uh, connecting to people across the planet. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, you're downtown at the mm-hmm. bar and you're hanging out and you're out for the evening. And you see a friend of yours post at a bar that's, you mm-hmm. know, three bars down. You're like, oh, crap. He's just right down the street. You yep. know, you go see your buddy. He's like, oh, my gosh. How did you know I was here? I'm like, I'm uh, stalking you. Kind of looked at your Facebook page. <laughs> saw, that, saw that you were here. Yeah. Uh, it also brings people together with, like, common interests. Yes. So, like, the Nebraska Ho- Brew people Crew. People that have hobbies. Yeah, like the Nebraska Brew Crew that you and I belong to that, to, to follow what people are drinking in mm-hmm. the uh, Nebraska area and, uh, and beyond. But and, uh, and beyond, and beyond. <laughs> but uh, it's it's a way to connect people that have common interests to people that you may not have ever met before in your life. So you're also making new friends uh, within that, which is kind of cool. Uh, it, and it, you can also be introduced to new things that way. This is speaking of new things. We have a new beer that we have never had before. So right. um, it, it's a way to to bring that all together, uh, keeping up with family and friends again with the social socializing aspect of it sharing ideas and content uh so for like schools and stuff you can uh, improve education that way by by sharing of ideas uh stimulate conversation with sharing of ideas yeah. uh, Khan academy is one you of those you no longer need a book club you just get a page yeah. and it's the book club <laughs> yeah absolutely and you can make a whole post about it and you can even post events and and uh hey my kids having a birthday party hey we're having a a social creating events together. that you know that is uh, that's pretty handy i've actually been invited to a lot of things through the event page on facebook oh, yeah. and it's so great um a it connects to you your calendar you don't need or, stamps and mm-hmm. envelopes and mm-hmm. paper and it's you can see right away who's coming the forest <laughs> yeah you can see right away who's coming who's not coming and who might be coming and uh you can see uh or you can give directions to your house or wherever the party is you can uh put p- pictures up there you can uh, talk back and forth if people need to ask questions about things and so something just popped in my head when when you said that you light know, has struck my psh- brain um i bet that hurt when uh you know you create an event and then people start commenting on it yep. um and they actually used your name in the event and you're starting to get these things which leads me into group text messaging oh jeez <laughs> you know that is one thing i'm glad that the phone companies out there figured it out and that you can go into the test text message portion of the text message and say mute conversation mm-hmm. <laughs> you know oh yeah uh, take me off this conversation because mm-hmm. it's it's horrible when you're you know working till three in the morning and at eight o'clock your phone rings seven times in a row and you're like group tech message mm-hmm. ah! <laughs> yeah, and <laughs> it's 7 a.m on a saturday can you all sleep in for a minute <laughs> yeah no those work group text messages messages just don't work out if it's like you and one or two well, they of your like buddies, to start a conversation mm-hmm. in the middle of it between two people and you're like what is this about <laughs> go to another chat yeah. if you wanted to talk to each other mm-hmm. start a whole nother text message okay. between the two of you please exactly please. exactly <laughs> yeah when it's when it's like 14 people on a group text come on yeah come sure. on really uh i get it makes it easy to it makes it easy out. because you can just 14 people once, boom, one message. You're not like, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, mm-hmm. paste, print, thing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
uh, the, going back to the sharing of ideas and content, all that, that you do have to be careful with the fake news, which gets into the cons, which I'm not ready to get into yet. Um, another thing that's nice about social media is vetting people before you meet them, not only in business, but uh, I have personally done oh, this. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. And that's, and it's just, uh, Hey, I've got a lunch meeting with this person. Uh, and I, I have personally done this. There's someone that you don't know. You're, you're getting together either for business or whatever. Name in there, and yep. you're good and to you go. Look it up. You, a, you can see what they look like. Mm -hmm. uh, not that that matters, but just so you know what they look like. Yeah. And then you can find out any likes, dislikes, or are there common people that yeah. you have? You don't want to stalk them too much. Now that's you a can make creepy. your page private, but you mm -hmm. can actually still see their page. Right. Not, not all the stuff that they posted. You'll see their their profile picture yeah. and maybe a little bit about them. But a little information. Uh, yeah. Born in Omaha, Nebraska or something. You know, yeah. something small to that nature. But um, there was this guy, uh, Jack Avail. So if you type in social uh, media experiment, uh, his name comes up, Jack Avail. And uh, he... <laughs> He got out there, uh, and I believe he was out in California, uh, Florida, maybe. I don't know. California, I'm sure. Um, but he was doing a, a like global location of people posting on Instagram mm -hmm. and people posting on Twitter. Um, he could see it within a you know block radius of where he was at what people were posting. Hmm. Anybody can do this. You know, what what's trending in the area that you're at? Mm -hmm. You can click on a business, and this person just made a post three seconds ago. Oh, well, that's right over there. He'd go right over, and he'd be like, hi, Samantha. And she's like, what? <laughs> He's like, well, happy birthday, and nice blue vows. You know, and they're just, they were totally, like, mind blown mm -hmm. that this person had all this information. Once you You're put, putting it out there. Yeah, once you put it on social media, it's not... Especially when you tag yourself at a place, mm -hmm. um, it's now public information. Mm -hmm. It's not private. Even though you have a private profile and they're not your friend, as soon as you tag that location that's in there, that location, they can look at that location and see that information. Yeah, it's anybody that's, that, is, uh, that follows that location. Let's say it's a, a, a bar or a brewery. Yeah. If you tag yourself at that brewery, anybody that follows that brewery will or be like able to see Or like this guy did. That. He just did a, a cast wide net of mm -hmm. things that were being posted within a you know block radius of himself and he just went oh boom 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 you know and he would just walk up to these random stranger people and be like tim you know sorry about your job mm -hmm. loss or you know it's whatever conversation or whatever thing that they posted about or you know like somebody's like beautiful beach you know mm -hmm. and he'd come up he's like yeah it is beautiful beach isn't it and they're like what are you talking about Oh my gosh, you are so weird. <laughs> mm -hmm, right? <laughs> you know. Well, um, so But he was doing it to prove a point. So that it was an experiment. Right. Social and media experiment. So there was a, a story that I had read about a gal and I forget where it was, but it was in a, a remote area and she had fallen off of a cliff and uh w was not doing well. Uh but she had her phone with her, but when she called people, she's like ah, don't know where I am right now. Like, well, I don't know if that's you know that's not social media. That's more GPS tracking. Give me a second here. I'm okay, getting there. Right, I'm right. getting there. Right. Um, so she she called people, but she couldn't really. She's like, I'm on the side of a cliff, you know, and in in a new. I don't know if she was on vacation there or whatever, but she was unfamiliar with the area, so she really couldn't describe where she was. But she had her phone with her, and what she did was she took a picture of the area that she was in, and then she made her Facebook profile public. public. And then there were there was geolocation. A, there was a scuba diver and scuba diving instructor that recognized that location and was able to get uh, within an hour was able to locate her. That is an amazing story. Did you come here knowing this story? I didn't come here knowing this story. It just phew, popped yeah. in your head. Yeah, that's I love that. That's, that's how we talk. <laughs> I like that. I like how things just pop into our heads. Um, but you also kind of led into something um, that actually is beneficial, and that's market research. And yes. So that's you know, like you said, tagging locations and finding out locations. Who's, yeah, and finding out who's going where and what they're posting about and all that. So that is positive. Um, finding and getting rid of stuff like the Facebook Marketplace. Okay. All right. All right. So I, I, I'm glad you brought this up because mm -hmm. uh, I was actually just talking to a friend about this the other day. Um, I hate it when people try to sell stuff on Facebook. Now, with that said, with yeah. that said. Mm -hmm. There is a area in Facebook to sell stuff. 
Facebook, go there. Facebook Marketplace. Yeah, go there, sell stuff. You know, go to go to which uh, I don't really Craigslist. Yeah. That's fine, whatever. But when you're actually trying to physically sell stuff on Facebook, in the hopes that one of your friend comes across your page and be like, "Oh, you know what? I really could do that." Now, I'm uh, I'm part of this group called the DJ Corner. And on the DJ corner, people sell mm-hmm. equipment. Well, that's but cool. But that's what it's for. That's, that's, what, that's what it's for. Yeah. It's, it's talk, exchange information about mm-hmm. DJ stuff and sell your old DJ equipment. And that's totally fine. But that's what it's for. Mm-hmm. I, you know, I have this one friend that uh, got out there and was just selling, you know, jeans. They posted like, you know, eight, ten pairs of jeans that they were selling. And I'm like, you know, you're kind of coming off a little desperate. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> give them to the Goodwill. They were wanting fifteen dollars per jean or something like that. I'm like, you know, those are used jeans. I mean, don't, don't get me wrong. I'm sure they're nice jeans. They're probably eighty dollars jeans, whatever. But um, uh, you look a little pass. desperate. <laughs> you look pass. a little desperate. Yeah. Go to that marketplace and sell your stuff there. Mm-hmm. You know, if someone's looking to buy something, they're probably going to go there. They're not going to be on Facebook scrolling through and go, oh, you know what? I do need some jeans. No, no. But that's how Facebook gets you, too, is because you get on Amazon, you get on whatever buying site, Mm -hmm. you know, and you're scrolling through and you're like, oh, this is cool. And you look at it. You maybe put it in your shopping cart, but you never buy the shopping cart. But then you get on Facebook and you're scrolling, you're scrolling, then all of a sudden it's there again. You're like, what? You know, you're scrolling, you're scrolling there again or it's off to the side if mm-hmm. you're using a computer so there's a lot of social engineering well, going on there i i understand to your point about trying to sell things on facebook i do see where they're coming from they want to offer it to their friends and family if, first if, before they put it on craigslist i i see i get where you're coming from too it is it is a little annoying well, it's um, like, I don't really if care. you want to give it out to your friends and family first why don't you send out a mass text message <laughs> Boom. You, you could yeah, you anybody could. want to buy some jeans yep. um that's just a for instance right. you know the next one I had was crowdfunding. Um, that's a nice social networking aspect where you can. Are get, you talking about like a GoFundMe? Yeah, that's a yeah. that's a social network. Yeah. I mean, it's it's it, using regular people to help fund whatever. I think that's a great idea. Um, you know, you don't have the means to start up something yourself. Yeah. Um, and uh, you're asking like, hey, I've got this idea. It's a little off the wall, mm-hmm. but I think it might make our lives better. What I don't like is um, I had a person, I'll just say person, I wouldn't okay. say friend, person, uh, who, An acquaintance. Lo- who lost their job mm-hmm. and two days later had a GoFundMe page. So, you know, <laughs> yep. that that was a little weird because yep. I'm not going to fund you because you lost your job. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. that, no. Yep. Go get another job. <laughs> there was a somebody had brought up uh, for a crowdfunding aspect of it. If you uh, are an artist, like a music artist or whatever, and you don't want to be attached to a label because labels, you know, they kind of bind you. Like you're going to do the things that we say, and you're kind of under our label. You can. There are specific crowdfunding places specifically for people that want to create a new album, but they don't want to be under. No. The label, which no. is kind of cool. There's a lot of people that don't want to be under a label because, mm-hmm. you know, they're really ultimately going to push you in the direction that they feel that you need to go to make themselves more money. Right. Yeah. Okay. You Are you more money, yeah. but more than more money. You had an album here. It was a great album, but it's been two years. We need to start thinking about doing other albums, you know? So that's not part of the creative process. We need to crank them out, you know, one or every year, year and a half. Right. So uh, the last one I had on the pros was fun. It's fun to just see what people are doing, playing games, those social games that they have on Facebook and all that. Another and trigger that just popped in my head. Mm-hmm. It's starting, to me, it's starting not to be as fun no, as it used to be. It's not. Um, I'm getting to a point where I'm scrolling through stuff, and it's starting. I'm already starting to see... Uh, we're going to use Facebook a lot in this because that's just what... <laughs> they're the big that, dogs. They're the big dogs. Um, I'm starting to see more and more 
uh, like videos. Mm-hmm. Like if it's not a video, it's not going to catch your eye. You're not going to watch it. And the, the videos are now autoplay. It's like, boom, autoplay. And then there's this little icon in the bottom right-hand corner that has the sound thing. And if you don't have that on, it's like, <laughs> you know, just you're like, oh, yeah, okay. All right, um, here, turn that down real quick. I mm-hmm. didn't know I had my media volume at a thousand percent. Um, are sure these are Facebook videos you're watching there, Brent? And you don't want people to know that you're watching right okay um <laughs> besides that uh so that yeah then like I, it's it's getting to a point if you don't have a video or if you don't have a picture and you just write something out people just fly right by it mm-hmm. you know well i won't say if it's that. a lo- if it's a long post yeah people Ooh, they don't speaking got time of flying right by nobody stuff got time for that. speaking of flying right by stuff <clears throat> social media is also um facebook is also they don't know how to read your brain. I, I, they, they're getting close. They're getting real close. But it's like somebody will make a post that's one of your really good friends, and you're like, you're you're watching that evening. They're like, I posted it on Saturday night. And you're like, I was on Saturday night. I posted it at 9 o'clock, and you're like, I was on at like 9.30. Mm-hmm. You would think you'd see it. <laughs> but it, it, it social media is getting really well, choosy on what you see. Your news feed if, is. If you scroll, if you just, if you don't go into... Um, current or there used to be a uh, a button that says um hot topics or something like that, and right. then current, you know, and you could hit the current and your timeline would go current for everything. They've really hidden that button, and I'm not sure why, but it's still there. You can still go to having your co- uh, timeline be in current, mm-hmm. but it's now it's just you scroll through and it's all like it's more of the popular stuff. It's like eight hours ago, uh, twenty one hours ago, Yesterday. seven days ago, yeah. and you're like, what? How, where is this time like? And I think a lot of that has to do with um, what I've noticed. The older posts uh, tend to be p- people comment on them like there's a new comment. So it brings it more into the forefront. Oh, there's there's new information on this post. It's oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So like somebody commented below yeah. or liked it or and something that, like that. That's that's why I think it brings it up on, higher on your news feed. <laughs> I'm going to read this. Uh, so it's getting to a point where you need the uh, the amount of comments. You need the amount of likes. You need the amount of followers, mm-hmm. and you need the amount of subscribers. Yes. Like, boom, boom, boom. That's we're, what you we're, need. We're moving into cons. Let's do some cons on social well, media. first of all, let's move oh, to the next a break. Yes, <laughs> taking a break. All right, let's see how much I can remember about this one, because, again, my notes are gone. That's all right. Uh, this, uh, now we've had the, the single uh, IPA, this uh, is the a, Indian PLL. Mm-hmm. This is now a double. This is a double. This is a, a double a, by the same people. Clown uh, shoes clown beer. Clown shoes beer. Yep. Uh, it's Which called is, Galactica. It's a weird clown shoe beer, so um, there is a reason for that. Okay. And I, if only we had a device connected That's to right. the world you, of human you look it up. No, I, I've got it right here, actually. Perfect. I, I brought it up. So, Galactica? Galactica. Yep. So he, um, the, the gentleman, Greg Bierman, uh, when he submitted the name of his company, he submitted it to like a, a, a contest, a uh, beer advocate. And it wasn't like the name of the company didn't even make like the top five. And it kind of burned him. So he's like, well, God, I can I can do one of these clown shoe, uh, I can do one of these clown shoe beer companies, and he just that that name just kind of stuck in his brain, and that's how he got it. Okay, he it was more of an offhanded comment about, you know that, and it just stuck. Yeah. So that's that's where clown shoes come from. It's just, it's just, just an off it just stuck offhanded offhanded thought that he had. I can do another one of these clown. Well, shoes. like we were drinking pint nine for the other one. There was a, a true story to that one. Yeah, this was, was just like a uh, you know I thought it was catchy. <laughs> yeah. It, well, not really catchy, but it's you know he was he was kind of making fun of the process of naming companies and came up with this. Uh, I don't know if idiom is the right word, but a, a, a saying or of some uh, the clown shoe naming company or the clown shoe beer companies and. And it just kind of stuck from there. Okay. And they do. And they they don't really do things in a prescribed manner. Like they they aren't trying to fit within the. Uh, they do have some styles like this double IPA, but you, you don't see a lot of wheat IPAs out there. So they kind of do their own thing, which is cool, I guess. It is cool. So yeah, why, just, why be like everybody else? 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 No, you're fine. Why be like everybody else when we can be like me? Um. So yeah, the Galactica is actually they use Galaxy hops. On this one, which I believe is why they call it Galactica, and it has a uh, uh, a young lady with a hop spear in her hands. Again, the artwork on these things is pretty freaking cool. It is eight percent, so it is a uh, it's a double IPA, and uh, 
I would say it's kind of an amber color, so it's a little darker than the last one. The other one was um, more of a haze orange, and this is kind of a amber in color. Again, hazy. It's uh, less hazy than the other one, but still you can't see through it. So on that note, I know Britt's making some notes here, but I'm going to uh, I'm about to cheers on you. Uh, yeah, on your no, I'm uh, I'm actually just writing down my notes from uh, Andrew, which will be our next beer here. Soon, Ooh, so. yeah. I forgot to write them down. Ooh, yeah. That's a crisper. That's a, a very a crisp. I totally... It's not a Tremens anymore. It's nope. not, or not a Delirium. Delirium. Yeah, it's 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 very, way frayed away from that Yeah, one. very crisp. You, the malty flavor is in there. You taste the grains and the, the malt in there. Uh, the citrus uh, is, is a little more subdued. Uh, the hops definitely are in there. But it's not... Like, if you think of double IPA, you think massive amount of hops. And this does not have... That massive amount of hops. It's there. It's it's just not as prevalent as some other double IPAs. Very crisp, very clean. Yeah, I like it. It's a it's a full bodied flavor. I like it. I do. I um not for uh drinking all night, but uh, I would w- w- you know, if I was gonna go between the two, I would go the double, yes for the alcohol content mm-hmm. but i would actually like the the other one's got a lot better flavor to it see and i like the flavor of this one better yeah, it's personal it's choice own, yeah it's your personal own palace, choice. you know yeah. and and uh my wife, no, the other one was great the other one was great yeah but this yeah you like that one this better. is this is more my style and this is more my style too mm-hmm. i i i choose to choose i choose to choose I choose to choose <laughs> to, to choose you Clown shoes. <laughs> 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 um, it's funny. I, I choose um, my beer with a higher alcohol content mm-hmm. uh, only for the sheer fact that I would rather buy a four pack and yeah. have two and my wife have two and we pack. have a good night, you know, <laughs> then yeah, a 15 pack. No, where could, hey. Where you could the drink them all pack, day. That was, that was great. It was great. <laughs> it was It was great to the fact that Bobby was all like, they have these in 15 packs? And mm-hmm. I'm all like, yeah, buddy. They do. They do. And uh, when you with, need that with, extra three, with, with all those that don't know what happened, some people do because they're our friends on social media. And uh, hey, social hey, media, boom! <laughs> uh, they saw that we all got together uh, yesterday um, at Mike's house, and um, our cousin, our cousin, and uh, it was Bobby's birthday. And I was in um, oh, what's the meat place just right down the street, ninetieth <laughs> and the uh, meat place, the meat place, <laughs> uh, Fairway Meats. Oh, uh, <laughs> it yeah. actually was a meat place. We, we ate at Planet Sub, and then we were going to go to uh, Michael's house afterwards. And so I was like, "Hey, let's just stop in here." I I hear that they have awesome meats, but they mm. also have a good uh, wine beer selection there. Went in there, actually, they do. They have mm. a very decent, awesome. Uh, beer and wine selection there. I wouldn't uh, have. Along. I, I mean, it kind of makes sense, but I wouldn't think of going to a meat place yeah. to get beer. So, for, in that place, they have meat, mm-hmm. cheese, beer, and wine. I mean, it, it makes that's sense. It. I mean, that's, I'm like, wow, this is this is an amazing place. I need to come here gonna, more often. If you're going to go grill out, yeah, you're probably going to want to buy beer, beer yeah. or wine, and or meat and like cheese kind of go together. So, yeah. and wine and cheese go together. So, um, so anyway, no, I uh, I, w- I was I was just about to buy a six pack, and I thought to myself. There's going to be three, four, five cousins going to be there. There's going to be a lot of people there. Probably should not buy the fifth, uh, buy the six pack. And yeah, let's just go with the fifteen, the 15 pack. pack. <laughs> Why not? Everybody yeah. had a beer, and it was the all day Founders IPA. You which know, you can drink those all day. I had four of them while I was there, and I, I didn't even feel a buzz. You know, mm-hmm. but the nice part about that is, a yes, you can have a lot, mm-hmm. kind of like drinking Bud Light. Um, but the flavor's still there. Mm-hmm. You know, you, I love the flavor of an IPA over, mm-hmm. uh, you know, a wheat or there is flavor. There <laughs> is flavor exactly. So I'm not putting off all no, day IPA. Right, they are a great company, and I like the fact that it's lower high, uh, alcohol content because you're going to be drinking it during the day. Mm-hmm. Um, and I love the fact they sell it in a 15 pack because everybody got to enjoy one at least. Yeah. You know, yeah. yep. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Moving on to the cons of social media. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll let you start because I'm still kind of... Uh, the first one right I think is pretty prevalent and uh, kind of ties into our uh, talk last week is uh, cyberbullying. Uh, yes. Mm-hmm. So, yes. Uh, I mean, really, kids are not supposed to have these social media uh, accounts and all that, but they do. And... 
uh, that leads to that opens themselves or that opens them to the world. Uh, and well, the, uh, I believe we talked about uh, you know we, you're talking about bullying, mm-hmm. social media bullying, cyber bullying, cyber which, bullying, which is bullying. It's just the modern day. Well, we we kind of brought of this we 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 brought this up um, last week um, with the suicide prevention about the girl who prompted her. That's why I said it tied into one it. Yep. to kill himself. And he did over social media, mm-hmm. which is crazy. His boyfriend, I think. That's uh, loved one. Yeah, I said loved yeah, one. Yeah. Boyfriend. I didn't say married. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but there's also, like, in addition to the cyberbullying, there's also the peer pressure. So, you know, which kind of goes hand in hand with the, uh, you know, the cyberbullying can lead to peer pressure. Peer pressure can lead to cyberbullying, blah, blah, blah. If, um, let's just say, you didn't want to go to a party, and so everybody gets on you, why aren't you going to the party? But they can do that on social media instead of, you know, talking to you directly, which is a form of cyberbullying, I guess. So that leads into that. Um, I did want to touch on the uh, the suicide side of that, because that was just last week's talk. Yeah, absolutely. Bring it up. So um, the, the latest statistics that I could get were from uh, 2015, and... As of 2015, there were 2,453 suicides in 2015, just in 2015. Voiced on social media? That they thought were from cyberbullying. From that. Wow. Yeah. That's a lot. 2,500, roughly. That's a lot. I mean, like, that's a weird analysis, and mm-hmm. I'm, I'm weird. I'm, I'm glad they have a. An, an analysis of that mm-hmm. because that's going to help things out. Mm-hmm. Um, but along with, with with bullying, you got to also talk about predators. Oh well, I mean that kind of yeah, that goes hand in hand. So um, when you type in, especially when you have kids on so, social media. So I typed in social media experiment mm-hmm. on YouTube on my Apple TV. And 98% of the videos were, were predators. What? Uh, really? Yeah. And, uh, I was scrolling, 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 scrolling. Ugh. And then there's like, oh, here's this guy that does this activity. You know, and then scrolling, scrolling. It, it, all the scrolling was just perverts, perverts, perverts. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, you're really putting yourself out there. Um, you can learn a lot from somebody just by their facebook page oh especially if they a little too much sometimes yeah especially if they have a public page Mm -hmm. Um, which you shouldn't which you shouldn't but um, a lot of kids don't know to go into the privacy settings and change that sort of thing so uh educate yourself on facebook privacy policies please google that youtube that facebook that Mm -hmm. um (laughs) make sure that your settings are set to to private uh, you set it to private. Only people who you were friends with are able to see your full page. Um, th- I believe it was about two years ago, maybe three years ago, Facebook just turned everybody's privacy settings off. Mm-hmm. They were just like, everything's off. Right. Uh, it's a free game for everybody. Oh, by the way, I'm going to make one little post about this, and if you scroll by it, you missed out. Mm-hmm. Um, and they told everybody that, hey, you need to go into your settings and say make this you know, a private page. But if you missed that post... Well, I, I, I there's many people that I can just go onto their page and see everything they've done. I actually heard about it from uh, there was somebody. It was one of my friends that had reposted that. That's hey, by the way, if you miss this post, Facebook changed their policies. Yep, you need to check that out, which was nice. Uh, which is uh, that would be a pro on getting the word out. I mean, it was a kind of a negative that they did that, but that's the thing about social media is they can change their policies whenever they want to, anytime they want to. They're they're a corporation. They can do mm-hmm. whatever they want to do. Absolutely. So what you thought was secure or private is may not be. Um, it, who are the people that are actually collecting data on us? That's CIA. <laughs> There's well, more you, than just uh, that. Yeah. W- NSA. 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 Yeah. That's what I'm thinking of. NSA. The the funny thing is, one of the co uh, creators of Facebook worked hand in hand with the CIA or the NSA. Mm-hmm. I'm like, hmm, I wonder what's going on there, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know? Uh, so you can YouTube this, you people. Um, what is what is Facebook not telling you 
about themselves. Well, if you think about the, it has a billion people per day on there. That's well, a lot of information, a lot of people on there. And it, I believe that it's going to get down to facial recognition. It's called Facebook. Everybody puts their face as a profile picture at some given point in time. Your face mm-hmm. is a profile picture of your profile. Mm-hmm. <sighs> facial recognition. Boom. Done. You install that software on any camera system out there. You can be tracked anywhere where you're at. Mm-hmm. Everywhere. Yep. And uh, mm-hmm. it's, what was the, it wasn't Minority Report. Mm-hmm. Where he's just walking down the mall, and then all of a sudden the ad pops up for this. The well, ad pops up for this, and they they're like, "Hey, Jack, <clears throat> don't you need a new car?" You know, like, that was one of my things on on social media was targeted advertising. Yes, which is can be a positive for the advertising company, well, and it could be a, can you be a know it, it could be a positive for yourself as well. You're on the fence about it. You're like, "I'm gonna buy this thing." Maybe I'll check it out. You go check it out, and they keep putting it over on the side. Hey, hey, you could buy get me, a deal me, on it. Me. Yeah, you could get a deal on it. You could. Yep. So that's well, the, and something could come across your feed that you were like, "That's actually exactly what I need." Mm-hmm. I just ordered a new back brace for myself. Um, I've got this posture sometimes when I, 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 I normally find it when I'm driving a car. Do you even lift, bro? Yeah. So yeah, I'm, I've got yeah, I've got this because you know, like I'm rigging all the time, and you know, I'm, I've I've just got this arched over pose, um, I, you know, working next to ceiling, so I'm bent over a lot, and so when I drive, I find myself driving like this, and then when I do, I'm like, you know, then my chest just popped, I just right? heard that you probably yeah. heard that on the microphone. Yeah, huh? my chest just popped just by doing that. <laughs> well, that's what this thing does. It's got two brace bars that mm-hmm. go around their backside, and I clicked on the ad and I looked at it for a while and then it was on my feed for a month mm-hmm. and finally I was all like all right it's $30 I'll buy it I'm gonna check it out so hopefully it fixes my posture we'll see what happens that's like I still get uh I looked at that uh mattress the purple uh, <laughs> that's on my thing all the time uh-huh. but I they, still have it on they the cater ad- to ads yeah, for that I, I looked at that like literally four or five months ago yeah. and it's still on well there. Uh, have you ever seen the Sasquatch, or not Sasquatch, but a, a, it's a Bigfoot ad for the Purple Mattress? No, I, was, I thought you were going with the Beef Jerky. I'm going to write that down. Purple, right, purple just, Mattress. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, so another negative uh, would be miscommunication because of lack of emotion. So just like texting, when you put your status update out there or if you're commenting on a post, things can get miscommunicated because you don't have emotion in text. I mean, you can yeah. put you can put an emoji yeah. in there, but you know, people will send something to you, and you're like, are "Was they, he joking? Are they for realsies on <laughs> yeah. this, or what's going on mm-hmm. with that?" Um, and you're like, "No, I was really just asking you a question. Like, I had no anger towards mm-hmm. it at all. I was just really just wanting to know your opinion about this thing, and you took it all the wrong way. Mm-hmm. People could take things all the wrong way just by a, a simple little text." Not even just a text, just the way you say things. Um, well, it doesn't, that, doesn't even have to be social media. My wife, okay. you know, I'll be like, are you done with that? You know, and she's all like, well, geez. You know, I'm like, okay, maybe I was exhaling my breath at mm-hmm. the same time I was saying that. And I it, it may have sounded like I came off mean, but I didn't. I wasn't coming mm-hmm. off mean. I was just exhaling at the same time I said it. It came out a little louder than I wanted it to. Mm-hmm. So, you know, everything would be taken wrong ways at you know, any well, point. Uh, yeah. And another example of that, uh, just recently, uh, I had a situation where I was at that, uh, my wife was supposed to be there, but she wasn't. And she texted me during it and said, you know, Hey, how's it going? And I said, well, you're welcome for me being here and you, not you because yeah. you know, this is going on. And she was like, are you drinking? I was like, well, I mean, I had a beer, but she's like, I was joking she, because you were having a rough time, you know, and then I got home and she was all defensive about it. Like, I meant no. it as a joke. Like, I was like, hey, because it's we're so totally bad. totally cool. There's yeah. nothing wrong here. Yeah, she's like, I didn't care that you were drinking, but like that that text, like, are you drinking? Like, it just seemed like. <sighs> well, and I just saw, I just saw this, uh, you know, uh, five reactions of a men, uh, like text messaging a woman. Uh, so he's all like, hey, girl, you know. And she doesn't respond within mm-hmm. ten minutes, and he's all like, "You're you, you're cute. What are you up to?" And then she doesn't respond, and they're like, "Hey, why you treat me like this?" You know. And then like the next one's like, "You ugly and fat." <laughs> and the last <laughs> one's is like, "Screw you." And the, and the woman's like, 
oh hey just got out of my pedicure um yeah you're ugly too bye <laughs> like, yeah. like yeah there's well that kind of well, le- instant gratification that'll oh, lead into that boom <laughs> that was my next one that was literally my next well not, these. <laughs> not instant gratification but limited attention spans yes so uh the instant gratification i was a little further down but yes the limited attention spans was kind of very right. similar people need to know their information right away now yeah and they're getting it in short they're getting short bursts of different types of information so they're getting information overload in small quantities so it's just like oh look at this oh look at this oh look at this oh look at this like uh status updates yes that's a lot of little bits of information about lots of different people yeah and just you're just scrolling through it it's not like it's not like reading a book anymore i mean so that just triggered something in my my head Your ADD Inst- mind my my instant gratification <laughs> um people are getting so bent out of space shape. out of shape out of space uh it would be a better word for it when trump makes a twitter comment mm-hmm. trump i'm not trump, getting, i don't want to get political on this no it's uh, well no no no, no. it's okay. this isn't political okay this is trump spends nine seconds on his phone and he types this little th- thing in Thang. Tw- thang. Thang. You, thang. You did say thang. thang. Um, he types this little thing in, takes him eight, ten, ten seconds tops, and he puts it out on Twitter. You know, this is just his his mind wandering like my mind wanders from time to time. And this is just his, this is That's just his like expression and thought of something. And people are like, people are dying in Haiti, and uh, you know, what about the you know Chile and you know the earthquake and you know and he's talking about this and it's like no he's not talking about it he just like put it out there like Mm -hmm. took him eight seconds to put it out there and people like goo goo gaga over this one little comment that he put out there because he's the president of the united states he's the president of the united states yes and and i'm like i said this is not political this is just people losing their kind of is people losing their mind over just a little bit of social experiment uh, social media what I will say, verbiage. What I will say about the Twitter. yes, maybe he shouldn't have a Twitter account. Maybe he shouldn't. No, okay. So to, the, to a positive for that, I know there's a lot of negative that comes out about that, but a positive is he's reaching an audience that has never been really paying attention to politics at all ever. So the you know 16 to 22 year olds that have Twitter, uh, I know there's people that are older than that that have Twitter. I have Twitter, but. Sure. Um, He's reaching those younger people, which is great. That really don't have a say in, that really don't pay attention to politics much. That are now paying attention to politics because they have a terminal, aka Twitter, Twitter, however you Twitter. want to pronounce it. <laughs> <Twitter>. <laughs> um, but yeah, that I would think is a positive. Say what you will about what he actually posts on Twitter, but he's still reaching an audience. That's that's. I just bought a Robin for Carly. We were at Mangelson's. An actual tweeter. <laughs> An actual tweeter. <laughs> Big giant red Robin. Uh, we have red uh, it, Robin in in our bag uh, yard. We have a lot of red and blue birds that like to fly around. And was we, little blue bird on your shoulder? Little blue bird in the back of the. Uh, anyway, um, <laughs> that's some copyright there somewhere. We can't finish that song. Um, but yeah, she saw it and she had to have it. And mm-hmm. I was like, yeah, I'll get that for you. Fourteen dollars. <laughs> okay, baby, I'll get you a bird yep. <laughs> that you can put on a shelf somewhere. Your tweeter. <laughs> Your tweeter. Yep. Uh, next negative I had was invasion of privacy, and that kind of led into well, your. You'd already it, talked about the. Is it an invasion of privacy if you put it out there publicly? Uh, if you didn't know that your settings had to been automatically changed. Or if you... Well, you signed the agreement and agreed to your account on Facebook. if you're posting to friends only, but some of those accounts are fake and they have taken your information. Well, then that's a problem with Facebook, yes. But um, in the policies, Mm -hmm. nobody nobody reads the policies. Some people do, but... It's light reading. Mike Mike brought this up one time. If you can't fall asleep... Mike policy. brought this up one time. He's like, I got a new iPhone. And he's like, I actually read through all the agreements on mm-hmm. the iPhone. And he's all like, I didn't agree with half the stuff they said on there. Mm-hmm. But it's my new iPhone. And, of course, I'm going to agree to it so mm-hmm. I can have this phone turned on. Mm-hmm. If you want to have a Facebook account, you just have to agree to their yep. terms. Yep. You know, you have to outweigh you know, what, what's more important. What is more important? I, You know, frankly, the stuff I post on Facebook, I have nothing to hide. You mm-hmm. know? Uh, now, <laughs> now you don't have anything to hide. Now, uh, 
<laughs> somebody robbed a bank <laughs> and then put it on Facebook. That's yes. Robbed a bank. <laughs> I was totally going to. I That was one of the positives that I, I kind of glossed over a little bit was that it helps in crime fighting right. because people are <laughs> stupid. They post this stuff on Facebook. Duh. Really? You're going to get caught. Really? Don't do that. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> but on the flip side of that. It can be things that you post can be used against you for things like job interviews or if you are oh, going yeah. up for security clearances oh, yeah. or if you um, well didn't we have a talk or, on um, this was a couple a couple months ago uh, where they were gonna just start taking DNA and then they could trace your yeah. family line well, yeah that was stuff. Gattaca we talked about Gattaca. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, kind of same thing, kind of the same thing, but only with social media. Mm -hmm. You know, they are determining who you are as a person through your social media accounts, which they kind of can, can if you mm -hmm. give it out as public knowledge. Well, and there's algorithms. I mean, uh, I tend to take vacations at this time of year. I tend to go to these different places. I tend to in shop your, for these different things. In your profile, don't be smoking a blunt in your profile picture. Uh, you know, yeah, you, know yeah. you know, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> right. If you're trying to get a job. <laughs> right. Or even something simple as posting every Friday night you're out of the bar, which seems not, I mean, that seems pretty normal. Yeah. But if an employer is looking at that and like, oh, uh, they're out at the bar all the time. Well, I'm at the bar every Friday night DJing. <laughs> <laughs> and it's amazing the amount of people that you see on a regular basis there. Like, oh. I kind of feel sorry for you. Yeah, but if you're posting pictures. Hey, buddy, what's going on? Oh, yeah. you're back again. Cool. Go get a life, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder. There should be a uh, there should be a filter that, like, on Friday and Saturday nights when you post a picture to Facebook yeah. that it doesn't actually post to Facebook until, like, Sunday and has you review it. Yeah. That, that'd be a nice filter, right? <laughs> like, you're out there 2 o'clock in the morning, ah, taking shots, and, oh, I probably shouldn't have posted that. No. <laughs> No, no, you shouldn't have. <laughs> <laughs> That's the drunk text at three in the morning. Oh boy, oh boy. Um, here's another one. Uh, negative. FOMO. Do you know about FOMO? Is that the fake phone? That fear of missing out. Ooh, yes, mm -hmm. I know about the FOMO. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, and I can see this in. I'm not going to say it. I'm going to see it in my wife. Um, that's that's the wrong way to say it. Uh, but I, I okay, sure, my wife. Uh, <laughs> just had a whole conversation, right, by yourself. <laughs> um, <laughs> she sees all her friends out there doing these great things, and um, let's just say you've got forty-eight friends. Let's just say you only got forty-eight friends. Mm -hmm. Three of them are going out and doing these awesome, amazing things. It's like no, the other. Uh, 45 of them are <laughs> just like you and they go to bed like everyone else and um, it was kind of funny she complained on a Thursday night that you know it, it's, like, it's very repetitive around here and all we're doing is this and this and this but then Friday she got to go out for lunch mm -hmm. uh, she got to go out for dinner uh, with her friends that evening uh, Saturday I took her out and we had fun Sunday we or uh, uh, Saturday afternoon we were out with the cousins mm -hmm. uh, Sunday uh, we went to church uh, we came back we ordered out <laughs> and she's like this was quite the fun filled uh, weekend and I'm like well ye ask and you shall receive <laughs> you know yeah. Yeah. But yeah, uh, the fear of, of, of missing out because mm -hmm. so many other people are doing so many amazing things. And yeah. those th there's a few. There's a few. There's not a lot. There's a mm -hmm. few out there that, that do have fun on Facebook and yeah. post everything that they do every time. Right. We don't – there's a lot of things that uh, I do that I just don't – that are awesome that I don't post about, you know? Um, me and Guy were playing in the backyard digging in the dirt. I mean, that was a heck of a lot of fun. We dug up a worm, you know? <laughs> And he thought that was awesome. And I, at the same time, I was also getting rid of some of my tomato plants. Those were and delicious. And we, we put that worm in the dirt and watched it go into the dirt. It's so cool. Nature. It was nature in its, in its prime, and I thought it was cool. But are you going to see a post about that? No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. We had fun in our own time. Probably because you didn't want to post that with the uh, dirty fingers that you had from the dirt. But that, too. <laughs> that, too. <laughs> Let's be honest. But we had music going on in the background. It was mm -hmm. a good time. It was me and my son hanging out, and it was a lot of fun. There's a lot of times that we have our phones in our pocket that have cameras on them, 
and you should be taking photos and you just don't because you're living within the moment and you know and that's, that's okay that's why i don't have a lot of pictures on mine just because uh i mean there's i i get pictures every once in a while but i'd rather live in the moment than snap a picture which is unfortunate because that picture can you know remind you of the moment which is kind of cool i mean it's kind of a Double catch, into catch, catch, catch 22. 22. Yep. Well, there you go. That's a better word. Uh, false accounts. We kind of touched on that a little bit. That's another negative. Yeah. It's uh, it's really weird when you ask to be my friend again, and I'm like, I thought I was your friend already. Or there's a random dude that po- that wants to be your friend, and you so, go back in his history, and, and, oh, this account's only been active for three days? Hmm. Well, that's weird. With that said, I uh, I don't really get that so much on Facebook. I, I I'd say uh, uh, maybe a random person every six months is like, oh, mine's like every month I like, get a oh, random. Oh, hey, person. you're cute. You know, like no, you're fishing for something there. Mm-hmm. You know, I, you know, you you've got this little sexy profile or something like that, and you think that I'm one of those dudes that's just going to click on it. I get it more on Instagram mm-hmm. and Twitter. You know, not that I'm on Instagram and Twitter that much. I'm really not. Um, well, with what we do, you know, with what we do, we're starting to get on a lot more. Mm-hmm. And uh, we also need to talk about maybe paying somebody to do like the mass updates of stuff and or, or, or try to figure this sort of thing out. Right. Um, but I, I get it more on those sites than I do uh, more Instagram than anything. It'll be this, you know, sexy girl. And she's all like. I'm following you. And I'm like, why are you following me? <laughs> and what they're doing is a trolling. And they're like, oh, well, I saw I saw that she followed me. I'll go, oh, I'm oh, going oh, to follow her. You know, mm-hmm. I'm not. I'm rarely on there. And, and I see a scam when I see a scam. You mm-hmm. know, yep. that's totally a scam. Exactly. Um, We got into targeted advertising. We did in her job opportunities. Time suck. Time suck. <sighs> That's, that's a big I'm, one. I'm going to go down here and grab this other beer here in a second. <laughs> <laughs> Man. You, oh, is this? Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. So uh, I got T- some. Take two more sips and yeah. you're getting there. Yeah. So I got a little bit of a statistic here on the uh, the time suck of social media. The average teen spends about four hours per day on social media. And that's on the low end. Hold on, hold on. Because there's hold some on, Brian, sites... I, 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 I was paying attention, but I didn't hear the statistic. It was four hours per day, and that's on the low end because there are some sites that say eight hours per day. That's a full-time job per day on social media. I just had to let that one sink in yeah. while burping in my mouth a little bit. <laughs> um, wow. Right. It leads to... Uh, well, it's a, it's a good distraction, but it also leads to procrastination. I would think it'd lead to depression. <laughs> well, the, yeah, the, the FOMO, like, the, you know, the, the missing out. I mean, you know, you see your friends, oh, God, my uh, my friend's in Mexico right now, and she's having the time of her life, and why can't I ever do that, and blah, 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 blah. You know, and when I see those posts, I'm like, good for you. You know, glad you got some money in your life, and you can go do that sort of stuff. And, um, oh, you don't have any kids, so, oh, no, I get it now. <laughs> you know, yeah. like, I get some of those posts. Mm-hmm. Um. Have you, so just a little side tangent, you know those little window stickers in the back of like minivans and You're cars? You're talking about and, the two adults and the yeah, kids exactly. and the dog sometimes. Right. One of my favorites was a, a Dink, uh, which I don't know if you know what the, the Dink stands for, dual income, no kids. But it was, yes. uh, it was husband. Well, you and your acronyms. Yeah, yeah. Like you do social media all the time right. or something yeah. like that. <laughs> but it was a, uh, so it was a, a stick figure of the dad and the stick figure of the mom and then a pile of cash for the kid. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good name right there. Yeah. <laughs> I believe that's on some show somewhere. <laughs> Pro- probably. But we're going to patent it. I'm thinking work at all. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, did you have anything on the uh, the time suck? Because, it? I mean, that's all it really does is just suck time. It leads to a sedentary lifestyle. All really. right. So, yes, it is a time suck. It, um, And I'm going to, you know, I hate to refer to my wife again. But um, we'll be, I, I, I have Thomas Crown Affair. We watched Thomas Crown Affair today. Great movie. Great movie. Great soundtrack. Oh, great yeah. everything in oh, that movie. Cinnamon. And yes, we were watching it with my son around. And yes, mm-hmm. there were two scenes that I had to fast forward oh, through. Oh, absolutely. You know, yeah. you know shoom, mm-hmm. um, I don't mind him staring at, or not even staring, but you know, she, <laughs> she does this one scene that's like, but there's two kind of sex scenes in there. I was like, yes. got to go through yep. those quick. Um, 
But there's, then she's out on the beach, and I'm like, whatever, he can see that. It's fine. And that's also, I think it's a remake, actually. The, it is a remake. Mm-hmm. Uh, the original version actually happened right after that one. Mm. And I sat and watched that and, one. And you know who the original actress in that is? Is the psychologist in the new one. Oh, my gosh. I didn't even. Yes. Yep. You were totally right. Yep. I didn't even think of that. Yep. Now that you said it, I'm like, because literally that's what I was watching before you showed up. Mm-hmm. Uh, we played Thomas Crown Affair, and literally the next one after that was the, the, origi- old, the, original. the original Thomas yeah. Crown Affair, and I didn't put the two together, but that when you her. said that, I'm like, oh my gosh, yeah, that was her. Mm-hmm. Uh, anyway. Very cool. Very <laughs> cool. Yep. Uh, anyway, such a cool movie. She'd never seen it before, right? And so we're watching it, and oh, she got to get up to use the restroom. I'm like, oh, you know, here, I'll pause. She's like, oh, it's fine. I'm like, no, 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 I'm pause because this is it's a, it's a really interesting movie to dive yourself into. But she'd never seen it. She never seen it. No. Wow, it's a good, it's a great movie. So then, um, so we're sitting there, and you know, she knows that Thomas did it. You know, that's it, the whole movie starts with you know he did it. But it's the, the 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 way they find out that he did it. It's funny, you know. Spoiler alert! Wait a spoiler alert! Uh, you didn't even. He should have said spoiler alert. It's the first five minutes of the film. You know he does it. I know. <laughs> it's finding out the way he did it is yeah. is the the, the, the game, name of the game. But yeah, the uh, cat and mouse game. Half an hour, forty five minutes into it, I look over and she's on her phone. Mm-hmm. I'm like, can you be here in this moment? <laughs> you know, like right here. Mm-hmm. What I noticed, and that's what social media is about. Mm-hmm. Is you're taking you're. Even though you're there in that moment, you're not in the moment. You know, she wasn't there watching that movie with me. Mm-hmm. She totally missed everything that just happened right there. She's like, "No, no, no, I'm listening." No, you're not. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, you're not. You're tuned out because your brain's focused on something else. It's not focused on the audio. You know, what my wife's answer to that is, "Women can multitask." Mm, right, <laughs> right, right. It's, right. it's a proven science that you can't. You just can switch back and forth. You can. Fast. You can. Yeah. You can look up and you can be like, oh, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah no, I know what's going on. Yep. You know. uh, what I did notice, uh, speaking of, you watched a movie and all that. So, church today. Uh, did you notice how many people were scrolling through Facebook? And I'm not saying it, I love my church. Lori, right yeah. next to me, yeah. she was communicating, like, she was getting a couple text messages. That's fine. And mm-hmm. she was making posts and all that stuff. And uh, during the sermon and all that stuff. But, uh, but then she'd flip it over and then she'd have her Bible and it was good to go, you know. But yes, absolutely mm-hmm. I could see what was going on. Mm-hmm. And I'm glad I could fix your sound for you. And I'm yes, glad yeah. I could fix Appreci- the light for you. Appreciate it. Uh, you know that light? Uh, yeah, that was, that's, that's another yeah. Yeah, here. Anyway. That's another <laughs> side topic. Yeah, it is. Uh, where was I? Oh. You need a drink and uh, we need to open this up because it's actually a funny name that we have. For all us. right, we're going to take a break. And Britt, you're going to uh, do our next uh, sponsor here for this uh, half next, hour. Our next sponsor. <laughs> well, Andy, who was on our fifth. Beer, beer me. Yeah, beer me episode. It what was a fifth or ninth episode. It was it was it was a very early on early was, on episode. It yeah. was called beer me. Uh, Andrew, uh, who came on the show, and we did the beer me episode because he was a brewer and you were a brewer, and they were like, "What do we talk about?" I'm like, "You guys both do beer. Let's just do beer me and mm-hmm. buy, bring a whole bunch of beer." This is one of his beers. Nice. So I, which he brought at the beer me, he brought a coconut. I remember his coconut ale that he brought. Yes, that was delicious. And now coconut. There's a lot of beers that are actually uh, that have coconut in them. So he was ahead of his time. He was ahead of his time, and so um, I texted him and I was all like, "Hey, I never got the name of the beer and how it was made and all that sort of stuff." And he wants to call this one the Nameless Face. Mm. The American nice. Pale Ale. Which leads <laughs> which to... Which is kind of funny that we're talking about social media and Facebook and all that stuff. The Nameless Face. <laughs> the, so what's interesting about the name, The Nameless Face, is in Thomas Crown Affair, the painting is the faceless man in the bowler hat. Whoa. Yeah. Do you see the tie in there? <laughs> yeah. I think I saw the tie in there. Yeah. Um, so this is an unfiltered... Uh, double dry hop, as most home brewers do. Yes, uh, unfiltered, double dry hopped, equal parts mosaic, citra, and Simco, Simco, S I M C O E, Simco. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure, we'll go with that. S I M C O E. Okay, Simco, Simco. Yeah. Uh, he goes. Uh, it was mixed with uh, oats and white wheat and uh, pilsner. That is this. Yeah, I will uh, get to that. I have a couple more sips on mine. It's quite all right. And I will wait for you on that one. Any so. Anybody that is uh, wanting to venture or anybody that is a uh, craft beer 
uh, aficionado. If you have not tried Ooh, aficionado, yeah, it's the, the big word words. of the day today. The, uh, no, it's not. But it's the first time you said it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but if you're a fan of delicious flavor, as I am, uh, you should try your hand at trying to make beer. Yeah, because the home brewing aspect, you can make it as simple or as complex as you really want to, and the thing about home brew is you're brewing it in really small batches. Yeah, five, com- gal- five gallons. Five gallons, yeah. yep, five gallons, which in comparison to mass production or even micro brews is pretty small. You can get a lot of flavor in that five gallons. So, And you can tweak the flavor the way you want it to. So I would suggest just giving it a go. It, yeah. it, it's really inexpensive. You can spend as much... Excuse me, or as little as you want. The first, uh, the first beer kit that I had was, I believe, one hundred and nineteen dollars, and it had yes, Brad. I know. Drink it, I'm, t- I'm talking. The first beer kit that I had, one hundred nineteen dollars. It came with the fermenter. It came with all the bottles. It came with the uh, extract. And all I had to do was take some water, boil it, put it, all put together. the extract into it. Add some, the rest of the water, let it ferment with the yeast, and bottle it. Make sure everything and add is the sanitary. sugars. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah. If if you think that yeah, clean, clean, clean. This isn't a brewing show right now. This specific episode isn't a brewing show, but we're kind of turning of that. Didn't you guys just brew some stuff and you said we that did. it didn't have any fizz? Yeah, so we're gonna have to take a look at that. So there are no bubbles. Which yeah. means the yeast is not doing its thing. Which either so that little capulator thing on top, it's like makes right. a little. Yep. So boop, on the on boop. the top of your fermenter, you have the little airlock. Airlock. Well. I said capulator. Yeah, that's right. I was totally made that up. That's <laughs> right. And it uh, if it's bubbling, that means the yeast is doing its job. So really, I mean, I hate to tell you it, folks, but what beer is is a bunch of beer farts from yeast. That's that's all it is. It eats the sugars. <laughs> funny. It creates alcohol. It's funny because yeah. it's funny because it's what happens <laughs> that's in the morning actually, and you yeah. get a fart. <laughs> yeah. So that's that's the yeast is basically creating gas, the CO2, which creates the bubbles and it also makes the alcohol. But if you see no bubbles, that either means that the that uh, the sugar didn't do well, like you didn't mix the sugar well enough and the yeast didn't get to it or the yeast is not doing its job or it uh, expired or just so we don't we don't know what happened so okay. we're gonna have to try and fix that so um andrew's actually ventured off and his wife bought him a uh kit where he can actually keg his beer yeah and that is the coolest you can keg five gallons little little pony keg and uh that's the way he does it. he's got two pony kegs in his fridge and a little self tap i'm like you need to just drill a hole and put this on the outside and you're good to go you know he's like, yeah a little keg rater. he's like oh we'll get on we'll get to that so i'm gonna cleanse my palate before we do this oh, did so. i get the brunt of it i might have gotten the brunt of it it gives you a little you, no no you're fine you're fine you're good right. these are pretty heavy heavy alcohol content right beers. heavy hitters mm-hmm. so drink responsibly right this is your house you can stay here mm-hmm. <laughs> Ooh, hazy Unf- yeah the unfiltered The, um, Ooh, like butter. I just, I had a butter flavor just like just drinking that. I just had some butter hit my mouth. I'm just trying to um, the smell the aroma on the top. Well, it's a Pilsner, oats, white wheat, mosaic, citra, and the sim. I don't know what Cinco is. At least that's what he put in his text message to me. So I don't know what Cinco is. Simco. Sim, C O E. Sim Simco. It, oatmeal, that is the f- oatmeal. That, yeah, yeah, that that's, is, that's that what is, I said. Oatmeal. Yeah, that's what I smell. Like the uh, that's, I smell oatmeal. Yeah, mm-hmm. but I taste the butter. But it's not it a taste like butter. When you think of oatmeal beers, you think of more stouts. Yes. This this is he a, had a few stouts, mm-hmm. and he did mix this with one of his beers. Like it mm-hmm. was a kind of a crossbreed. Yeah. No, oh, that's good. It is good. It's like totally. I've never had a taste like that of a beer before. Very full flavored, full flavored. Not something. But I taste just... the citra mm-hmm. in there. Oh and, yeah, and yeah. The, the hops, the hops. You can taste the hops for sure. For sure. You know. Well, I mean, he grew his own hops, and I believe that's what's in there nice. as well. Nice. So these nice. are home brewed hops, homegrown hops with a home brewer. 
<laughs> as as a lot of them do. This is really good. Well done, Andrew. Yes. Well done. Well done. Mm-hmm. We'll put that on social media that you did an awesome job. Mm. Yep, yep, yep. All right. So moving on to the last uh, the last ones here for the negatives, for the cons. Social engineering. <laughs> if you don't think it happens it does it does it is uh well i mean like i said facial recognition is not that far not not even that but it's just trying to get you to think a certain way oh that's what all right all right all right all right right. i get where you're going i get Mm -hmm. the flow now yep um yeah um you think you want to buy this item (laughs) We're going to make sure that you buy that item because you thought that you should buy it and, you know. (laughs) Or, and I don't want to get into politics, but all these posts about, oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Well, why is it bad? Is it bad because the news article told me that it was bad? Or is it bad because it's actually bad? (laughs) So there's a social engineering um, aspect from that. You know, Pops, uh, he... He talked about this a while back. He goes, um, back when Trump and... Uh, he's a smart dude. He's a smart dude. Uh, back when Trump and Hillary were running for... Not, pre- not Trump. Dad. Dad. Trump, yes. Trump. I mean, okay. Yes. Yeah. He's, he's a smart dude, too. Yeah. You know. Um, but uh, he he said this a while back. Um, it, it, back when they were ra- you know running for presidency, Trump and Hillary, you looked up Trump and there was just silly photo after silly photo after just i mean the dude looked like an idiot mm-hmm. and then you went hillary and it was like presidential picture la 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 there's no there's no bad things about okay. me yeah no, you know, you're getting an, I know social engineering though yeah, oh, it's that's totally true. social engineering that's true oh there's no bad pictures of her mm-hmm. yeah i guess if you scrolled all the way to the bottom of of google when you did Google image search of Hillary, you may have found that one funny photo, but it's like, no, who'd she pay? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> or, that, there was that video of her that uh, collapsing at the uh, 9-11 memorial. Well, and that's another part of social media is mm-hmm. instant gratification of instant news. Mm-hmm. Inst- instant news. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Not necessarily fake news or true. The, okay. So here's yeah. here's where I am with... <laughs> Yes, here is I am. Here's where I am with, yeah, here's where I am with news. Um, news outlets today are Gosh, so. I and, smell butter and right when I when, right when I take a sip of oh, it. You know, I smell I, butter. You know, it's like like Andrew. You, did you add butter to this? Like when you put butter on like popcorn or something like that, it's like just a little butter flavor. But oats, I mm-hmm. taste the oats. Yeah. Oh, the oatmeal. It's different. That yeah. is a very unique beer. Yeah. Picture. I have not like I've been to Andrew's house. Mm-hmm. I've not had this beer. This if one. you've had oatmeal stout before, this is an oatmeal stout, but it's an ale. So it's it's lighter. Uh, so it's a crisper feel on the mouth. But you, like every sip that I take, the oatmeal is prevalent in the aroma. So there's that that just like. But in, then the hops hit you. In inva- the face. It, uh, invades. I mean, it does invade the senses. And I don't mean that in a negative way. It's just it's very prevalent as you're drinking it like oatmeal. Yeah. So yeah, oatmeal uh, beer. That's yeah. an ale, not a stout. Yeah, American ale. Yeah. America, 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 not an Indian. America. Yeah, okay, so here, I, here's where I'm with the news. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A little side tangent there. Uh, here's where I am with the news. So, and this is, uh, and I know that I've said this before on past episodes. The Denzel Washington quote when they were getting on him about his negative comments towards the media, and he was like, "You as the media." have been so concerned with being first. Right. Not we right. We actually talked about this over lunch. Yeah. Not right, but first. We talked about this over lunch. Yep. You, me, and Chris. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's uh, Maybe they didn't get the story right. Like They're just so quick to mm-hmm. come to a conclusion. What narrative, uh, yeah, what narrative can we put out there first? Exactly. Because that's what people are going to remember is the first one. Very first. It's mm-hmm. a social media experiment that... I got I got the news out first. Look at me. I'm mm-hmm. the winner. You should always Social listen to me. Social engineering. You should always listen to me mm-hmm. because I got the news out first. Well, they got the news out first, but was it right? Was it wrong? You mm-hmm. know? Right. Exactly. Well, I, right as in they weren't right, but I meant right as in you were correct in saying that. Right. <laughs> 9-11. Correct. 9-11. Uh, oh, <laughs> you know, it, it, we took news at that time 
2001 mm -hmm. for face value. This, oh, yeah. And this is happening currently right now. This is the situation. Oh. And we took the news and we said, yep, that's well, true. That's 100% true. Facebook wasn't out then in Facebook, 2001. Yeah, Facebook wasn't out then. But we literally, they could have lied to us. Mm -hmm. And we went and went, yep, no, they told us that's what it was. So that's what it is because they're the news people and they, they're so right. Right. <laughs> The, the one of the last things that I wanted to um, mention because we're at an hour and a half here, yeah. So I kind of well, I, I kind of want to go this into a part two, not not the next ep you know, not the next time we record, but there will be a part two of this social experiment. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, not not today, but yeah, yeah. we'll get we'll, into we'll it. eventually have yeah. people on and do a whole round two of other people's ideas on this topic. So because it is a huge topic, right? It's um, what's happening in our lives. What what I like to say, and this um, this isn't just social media, but this is the internet at large, uh, but it does pertain to social media directly, and it connects you with people around the globe, and disconnects you with people across the table. Mm, well put, well said. Yeah. So I um, there was one um, another quote from uh, LifeWire dot com that I really enjoyed. Uh, really thought was uh, very poignant here. Online interaction has become a substitution for offline interaction. Okay. Which means, you oh, know. yeah, I get yeah, that. Yeah, you're scrolling through and looking at people on your Facebook feed and not paying attention to your kids mm. or other adults or people around you. So You're not focused on the present. Mm -hmm. It decreases face-to-face. -face. You're focused on the past of yeah. people that you kind of are friends with. Right. It decreases <laughs> the communication skills, the face-to-face -face communication right. skills. And then when you say, could you get off of that? They think you're a dick. <laughs> I can do both. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> Bam. Heard that answer. Bam. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, at this red light, you don't need to check your Facebook status. No, no, yeah. you don't. Mm -hmm. No, you don't. Yep, yep. Nor do you need to check a text message. So you can wait until you get home. I don't want to get into how we solve this yet because no. I do want to do a part two. Yeah, let's do um, part two. And we're just going to give a get more. I, you know what? Part two is going to be a young person and an old person. Ooh. I would like that. Yeah, nice. <laughs> kind of you know? dig that. I dig that because. Um, you see that the the interaction, uh, the, and that's kind of what the uh, the Facebook culture. You see, yeah. uh, you see the older. I want, the, I want the old person's you know words, and I want the and young by person's old. We don't mean like ancient. I grandpa could come on here. I don't know. You know, we don't have a grandpa. Uh, but, you know. I was gonna say, <laughs> but something. you know what I mean. I, I mean, if Mojo was still around, mm -hmm. I'd have Mojo on the show mm -hmm. to tell us about his wisdom of mm -hmm. technology. That's all I wanted to say on it, at least for this episode. Yes. For this one. So I want to wrap it up. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, do we just get into the outro at that yeah, point? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. So we'll, we'll do another part two on this one. Yeah. And uh, you know, there's so much we did not cover. Right. We did cover a lot, but there's so much more out there. Absolutely. That it needs to be covered. Absolutely. Uh, so we have. Or re-recovered. Re yeah. <laughs> so, Andrew, thank you for giving us some of the homebrew. Oh, We've yeah. We've been drinking on that, uh, and we're going to continue on that didn't, one. Didn't get it all. Not at all. <laughs> well, oh, with homebrew, you got to be careful on not to pour the whole bottle because okay. there's a bunch of the it's, stuff on the bottom there. You're going to be fine. Um, so we've been drinking on a little bit of homebrew. We've been drinking on the Clown Shoes beer. Uh, those were delicious. So well worth the... Um, the yeah, that really did just change your time. It did, really? <laughs> yeah, I told you. Um, we'll trade it up. So, and we've been talking on social media. So um, yeah, we'll do, another, we'll do another one. My name is Brian. I'm Brett. And thanks for joining us. We'll, uh, we'll, do, we'll do this again. We'll see you on the flip side. Catch you on the flip side. <laughs> All right. Facebook Nation, thanks for hanging out with us. Bye-bye. We'll see you next time.